Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Katara Beach, to the Anok World Beach Games. It's the penultimate day, the last but one evening, and we have bronze and gold medal matches in the beach wrestling. We're going to begin with the women's 60 kilos and under bronze medal match. Shauna Kemp of the United States taking on Katarina Zidakevska of Romania. Kemp in the white, Zidakevska in the light blue. It's a three minute bout, and it's the first of three points. And Zidakevska is down. She's already suffered. She had a dislocated shoulder in the earlier rounds and made it through. She won her group, Group B, and then lost 3 2 in an incredibly tight semi final. And she's down and in pain. We're a mere 19 seconds in, and already it looks like she's not going to be able to carry on. Bitter goal for her with a bronze medal just around the corner, perhaps, for her. But she is in real pain. She absolutely dropped to the sand, barely touched the shoulder that she injured earlier on and has had significantly strapped. The semi-final was less than an hour ago, and that's when she suffered the injury. She's in pain here. She's not going to be able to carry on, I don't reckon. Yep, the referee's called it. This is a real shame. Yep, there we go. There we have it. So, a bronze medal to Shauna Ken. Definitely not the way she was hoping to win this bout, but it's a bronze medal for Shauna Ken. commiserates with poor Katarina Zidakevska of Romania and she's going to be taken out as we see Kemp off she goes Gets the congratulations from some of the US entourage and this really is heart-wrenching Katarina Zidakevska being carried out on a stretcher there is a Red Crescent ambulance man just running on and he's managed to trip over the advertising hoardings, the poor fellow, but he's okay. And they are attending to Zidakevska, who was in real pain. So, big crowd here tonight for the final evening of the wrestling. And they're giving very, very warm applause to poor Katarina Zidakevska, carried off ice on her shoulder she's obviously in pain but she's not in agony as I watch her go past off the screen she's not in screaming agony thank goodness but it's obviously a very very painful injury any kind of dislocation so that was the bronze medal let us go straight on to the gold the gold medal match between Melika Osturk of Turkey and Francesca Indelicato of Italy. The Italian in white. No, the Italian is in blue, as you would expect, as you would hope for. And the Turk is in white. These two won their semi finals. Osturk defeating Kemp 5 2. Indelicato defeating. Zidakevska 3-2, Zidakevska suffering from that injury and having her shoulder completely and utterly taped up and then we saw she couldn't go on beyond 19 seconds of the bronze medal match. Three points to win, it's a three minute bout, I didn't have time to explain this to you in the bronze medal match because of that injury to Zidakevska. You need three points to win, as simple as that, you don't have to be three clear, just three points to win. If you push your opponent out of the circle, that is a step out. That's worth one point. If you take your opponent down and they fall on the side or the front, that's a one-point takedown. A three-point takedown is when you get them and they fall on their back. So much like an Ipon in judo. We are a minute into this bout. Two to go. If it's level, then the referee will decide. 
Bit of a slap there. Very tight here as we almost get to the halfway point. Nothing in it at the moment. They have to be careful. It's up to the judges or up to the referee to decide if it's level. Nil-nil or one all. Then the judge will decide who made the greater effort or who was the more negative. Difficult to tell between these two. Lots of clutching and grabbing. I'd say at the moment Ozturk has made slightly more of the running than Indericato. Ozturk who won her group and that group had Indericato in it and that was a 2-1 win for Ozturk in the group stages over Indelicato and then the two of them got to the semis by dint of finishing first and second and they defeated Zidakevska and Kemp from the other group he crossed over first place second second place first 50 seconds to go there's not been a lot to get our teeth into thus far we had the awful injury in the bronze medal match and now this is now it's coming to life Dedicato just getting the head down. To me, it's Ozturk who's been making the running. Delicato hoping for a mistake. 23 seconds to go. It looks like it's going to be up to the referee to decide unless there is a final flurry. The push there. A bit of slapping and grabbing. 10 seconds to go. Can one get the other out of the ring? I don't think that's going to happen. Can there be a quick takedown? Three seconds to go. It's not going to happen. The referee is going to have to... Well, the referee is going to have to decide. I think Indelicato thinks she's done enough. I don't know if that's gamesmanship to try to persuade the referee. Osturk with a smile on her face. Bit of resignation. Whose hand is going to be lifted? It's going to be in Delicato. She has indeed won it. She knew she'd won it as well. So, well, that's uh, a bit of a tough start if you're watching beach wrestling for the first time. As we see Francesca in Delicato running around the ring and celebrating. Have the last four medals for beach wrestling at the Anok World Beach Games. The first ever Anok World Beach Games. We had four wrestling categories yesterday, four today. Women's 60 and under, women's 70 and over, men's 80 and under, men's 90 and over. And we're going to start at the beginning with the women's 60 kilos and under. One person we won't see on the podium is Katerina Zidakevska, injured in the bronze medal match, injured in the semi-final, to be honest, and tried to carry on in the bronze medal match with her shoulder heavily taped, but it was a bridge too far for her. President of the Romanian NOC, National Olympic Committee. That's what ANOC stands for, the Association of National Olympic Committees. The winner of the bronze medal representing the United States of America, Shona Kemp. Shona Kemp, second in her group, came up a little bit short in the semis, but won that truncated bronze medal match when Zidakevska had to be carried off on a stretcher. the second medal for the US in combat sports, if you like, because there was karate kata, not a combat sport, a performance style of it, but uh, USA got uh, a bronze in that as well. Gajiki Tozuki winning that. Winning the silver medal, the defeated finalist, Milika Ozturk. It was nil-nil in the final, and the referee's decision went against her. Melika Ozturk, who won her group, defeated the gold medalist in the group stage 2-1.
but when it came to the decider, it was the Italian who won the day. And here she is. A scoreless final, but the referee got to judge it in the end. And she gave it the way of the Italian. Indelicato. She receives her gold medal and she's going to get a Dolphy as well. One of the mascots that we've seen. There we go. Everyone gets a Dolphy. All the medal winners get a Dolphy. Dolphy the Dolphin. Seen all around at all 13 sports that are being played here at the Anok World Beach Games. And now we're going to have the Italian national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Italy. Everyone likes the Italian national anthem. Except perhaps if you've just lost a gold medal match, but she's all smiles. Is Melika Ostur. Lovely to see she's there on the left. On the right, Shauna Kemp. And in the middle, Francesca Indelicato. And there we have the gold medalists. The gold medal, well, the medalists, the gold, silver, and bronze medalists for the women's 60 kilos and under. Francesca Indelicato, nil-nil, but the judge, the referee, gave it in her favour, saying that Menika Ozturk hadn't made enough attacking overtures. highlights of the final. Indelicato was convinced that she'd won it and she was indeed right. 